one's Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? Right, this video I will be putting together Robot Gulliman from the Triumphator of Primark box. I will be leaving the other two for another day, but just for this video I'm going to be putting him together. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip off all the parts needed, I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to put the smaller parts together and then you're going to see how we put all the bigger parts together. Like the arms, the legs, the torso, the head, the backpack, all that other stuff. So I'm really excited about putting this guy together. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. So roughly after about let's say an hour and a little bit I'm not too, not too sure I finally have Gulliman built up um, he went together pretty easily although at the start I did have a little bit of trouble um, I think it was yeah it was like the second panel on the very first page the very start of it is this piece here it doesn't really fit in too perfect and I was just thinking to myself, I don't know how hard this model is going to be for the rest of it. But that was only that was the only kind of thing I had trouble with that part. Uh, and I can't believe it was at the very start. But the rest of them went together pretty handy. He wasn't that hard to put together. I haven't glued him to the base yet, so he just come he pops straight off. He is full of detail. He is immaculate um, I didn't glue the head in yet because I'm not sure which head to go with that's the helmet one let's just pop that out and here is the head without the helmet if I can get it in get down there here we go I don't know I'm still torn about with the helmet or without the helmet I would like a without the helmet because it's something different and you get to see his face i do like that so maybe i will go without the helmet for now but yeah he went together really handy once you get all the big bits together like i did all the big parts like the body the legs um actually you've seen it in the in the part before this where they put it all together um but the base is awesome i really love the base there's so much stuff on it to look at and uh, it really is a nice scenic base as well. It fits him so well. He looks awesome standing up on it. It's going to be super cool seeing him surrounded by like tactical marines or primary marines and terminators. I, w I wonder if terminators are going to be next. Because everything seems to be getting an update. And then the kind of the terminator models, the kind of standard looking ones, are starting to look a little bit dated. But... I love his backpack. The sword is awesome. There is no parts left over. Um apart from obviously the head. Um but I not gonna complain about that. I love getting spare bits left. Let me see, do I have a specimen? I do have one. I have one nice and handy. So here is a Legion Marine. For a size comparison. Do I have anything bigger here? Here is a Dreadnought. Oh, the Dreadnought's a little bit bigger. So basically, he's like the size of a Dreadnought. Uh, do I have another side? Do I have any Terminators here? I have... Well, I have the arms for the Dreadnought here. So let's get a proper size comparison. Yeah, he's just slightly smaller than a Dreadnought. Jesus, the Dreadnought looks massive compared to him. I know it's on a little bit of a cork base, but... But this is... I don't know, maybe I would like to build like a couple of units just based around this guy to have for sure. 
Um, I'm not going to glue them to the base until I start painting them, which I'm hoping will be in the very near future. Once all this glue properly settles and dries in. Um, then the other parts I have left in the box, obviously I have Cypher and Voidus, I think the other guy's name is. They're, I'm going to do them eventually, I'm in a hurry to get them built up. But um, I really enjoyed making this. The instructions were... You know, there's really not a whole lot in it. It's pretty straightforward. The only kind of hard part is, is like 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 a lot of newer models. The design is kind of a bit funny. You know, you have to just once you clip like part one is like this these these two rows. Just do that and clip it together, and you're left with the torso. So I just did like all the main parts first. Like I did the torso, and then I did all the legs. And I got everything ready and then as you've seen in the video I just put them all together then and there's only a few other little parts to add on to that after like a little parts of, like the cables here um, and I think yeah like the halo on um, the backpack part and everything but I'm really happy how we turned out I'm looking forward to getting them painted they look super cool um, so let me know what you guys think of this overall it was a good model to build uh, pretty straightforward except for one or two little parts but other than that um, really nice really nice decorative looking model I can't wait to put them up on the shelf and everything so let me know what you guys think anyway make sure to hit the like button comment and subscribe if you guys have got this model or you're thinking about getting it let me know in the comment section let me know what you guys think and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video